Though Ukraine's fragile ceasefire has just been put in place, but new NATO plans are undermining the peace process. That's according to Moscow. Russia's foreign ministry says the announcement the bloc will hold military drills with Ukraine is only going to increase tensions. The decision was made public at the ongoing NATO summit in Wales, where the alliance also agreed to create a rapid reaction force for Eastern Europe made up of thousands of troops. Correspondent Harry Fear now reporting on the organization's response to its newfound threat. Today, we must face the reality that Russia does not consider NATO a partner. Before it even begun, the two-day NATO summit hosted by the UK and South Wales was set to develop a clear posture against Moscow. Blaming Russia for the Ukraine crisis appeared to be among the top priorities. There has been a clear message sent out from this conference to Russia that what President Putin is doing is indefensible and wrong. You will see more visible NATO presence uh, in the East. I think that sends a very clear message to Moscow. NATO committed to putting at least 4,000 troops in Eastern Europe and new military equipment in countries near the Russian border. Hearing all the leaders there talking about Russia, we're not hearing about Israel, for example, that's just conducted a massive attack against Gaza, absolutely bulldozed the entire place. I would think if they're looking at uh, some kind of uh, agenda as the world police, which they seem to think they are, that would be a good place to start. Day one of the summit saw a pledge of commitment to the regime in Ukraine, including including 15 million euros worth of assistance. We'll increase NATO's presence in Central and Eastern Europe. To back up this commitment, all 28 NATO allies will now provide security assistance to Ukraine. The final day of the summit saw a ceasefire announced for Eastern Ukraine, but this didn't ease up Western leaders' rhetoric. Agreement was reached on the creation of a so-called spearhead force that will be deployable within 48 hours. I am very nervous about this rapid reaction force because it seems to be very much directed uh, really at either Russia or China further down the road. It's about a conventional war. Paying for all this emboldening of NATO will be no small task. The US and UK are among just a handful of the 28 members who've been fulfilling the official recommended benchmark for defence spending. Allies whose current proportion of GDP spent on defence is below this level will halt any decline in defence expenditure, aim to increase defence expenditure in real terms as GDP grows, and aim to move towards the 2% guideline within a decade. Was the military pomp complete with flyover and the disruption to South Wales, which included road and school closures, all worth it? Well, despite the anti-NATO protests, its Secretary-General, Obama and Cameron, got exactly what they'd planned. A hardened, confrontational, east-facing stance against Russia. Harry Fear, RT, Wales.